Yarny friends, I am Jude. Welcome to Llamas in Pajamas. I am so excited because my package from Mental Health and Meows auction held by Mama G and Rusty has arrived. If you were there, you may remember that I was in an intense battle with D of D's Creative Hands and Ola Joe. At least that's how it felt to me because I really, really wanted to win this auction. Lot of items. I even gave up trying for a few items I wanted, like Dee's gorgeous woven poncho and the leather bag made by Mama G, which she said would, might be her last one that she made. I imagined the bids for Dory and Mama G's lot were going to be pretty high before it even began, so I was trying to save my money a little bit and wait for that one. One of the reasons is because, from my understanding, the Ankari alpaca in this box, which I have right here, has had a journey around the yarn tube streets and has become a little famous because of it. This is what I've heard, so if I'm mistaken, please correct my information in the comments. Originally, the doll started with Crystal from Bago de Crochet. It was offered in a giveaway. Dory does it, won it, and Dory decided to donate it along with additional yarn to Mama G for the Mental Health and Meows auction. But Dory only agreed to donate it if Mama G made some of her beautiful hand-dyed yarn to match the now famous alpaca. And that became the auction lot to bid on. At least for me. Besides the alpaca's journey of meeting up with awesome friends who gave it hugs along the way, why else is this a big deal? It's because it's a limited edition item from a well-known company in the fiber arts world called Inkari. I will tell you a little bit more about Ankari after we take a look at the goodies that Mama G sent my way because the alpaca is not the only delicious thing in the box. And I am way too excited because I have waited two whole days since it arrived so I could open it with everyone. Here we go. All right, let's see here. Here's one side and I got that. Okay. Almost there. I'm trying to go too deep because I don't know how far up this is. Oh, there we go. Safety first. There we go. Oh, there is a note. This is so exciting. I'm going to have a peek. It is a thank you card. Congrats on your win. Thank you for supporting our channel and our mental health and meows. Many hugs and much love, Mama G and Rusty. You are very, very, very welcome, Mama G and Rusty. That is something I will save there for now, but I'm going to save that always. Oh, let's see if anyone can see inside. That bubble wrap that Mr. Bajamas and I can fight over later. Oh, and a feather. Mama G feather. And purple wrapping. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to get out the that one next. I'm going to get this stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at Mama G yarn. Let me take this out. There for now. Sorry for all the noise. Hand dyed by Mama G. Made in Peru. Oh my gosh, this is so incredibly soft. And you know what I say about my 300 grams. If I have 300 grams, I can make a very nice shawl. So that's exactly what this will be, a shawl. Oh my gosh, that is so soft. So squishy. Let me try and get some of the tags out. Although I have a feeling that this is going to go the way of the... Uh, 
Noro and I'm going to have a time where I'm just going to look at it for a while and touch it and pet it before I do anything with it. Because it is very special yarn. Oh my gosh, I can't get over how soft this is. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells good. It smells so good. Oh. Oh. Furls. It's the Furls hook. This was by donated by Dory. Trying carefully. Pull this this side. This side was better to pull. Oh, nice. It is a size K, 6.5 milli. Very nice, and I have a feeling, does it say what it is? It doesn't. I think this one's called Solar Storm. That's what's in my memory anyways. I could be wrong, but I think it's called Solar Storm. Solar something is in my mind. Oh, there's some more yarn. Oh. This is what Dory called a bougie bag. <laughs> when she was showing what she was going to donate, she was like, this isn't, I'm going to put this in this bougie bag. Thanks for the bougie bag. Oh my gosh, this is super soft. All right, I'm going to have to move Mama G's over a little bit, and I'll keep that there. And we'll have to have a look at this, which is Yarn B Hint of Silk Color Lacquer. Uh, lacquer number 10. It is, what are these? Use 5.5 millimeter knitting needles, 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, 85% bamboo, 15% silk. It is three ounces. Um, 85 grams, 130 yards. Oh my gosh. Super soft. Super, super duper soft. This one is trying to hug that one over here. And it looks like she got it on a nicely reduced price, which is awesome. Love a sale. Absolutely always take advantage of sales, everyone. I've got the softest yarn in the world sitting here. I really do. And a bougie bag. And that's my, my bougie bag. And let's see now. I'm going to move this off to the side. Because we have... Uh-oh. Something just dropped. Oh, we'll get it later. Oh! Oh, Mama G, you got stitch markers in here. Oh, got a card, Mama G's card. Love stickers. Oh, a little thread thingy. Oh, did you add, you know what? That's a good idea. Look what she did. She used two buttons and put them together so you could actually hold on to this thin thing. I didn't even think of doing that. This is the threader I actually prefer to use, and it's always such a pain to try and pick it up. Oh my gosh, Mama G, you're so smart. Why didn't I think of that? And a little thing, and these. I'm going to look and see if there's a glare on them. There we go, I think that's good. They are so pretty. Little glass balls in them, oh, they're so pretty. And purple. Mama G and I both have a love for purple. So that is awesome. And I will be saving all of these. Excellent. And now we pull out the main guy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it is so soft. Oh my gosh, I was not prepared for how soft it is. I was not prepared. I was not prepared. 
Oh my gosh, no wonder everybody loves these. Wow. Oh my gosh. Here, I'll turn them on the side for here. Can you see anything there? Yeah. Do you see the floof? This floof is so super soft. See the little feetsies? And the head, I'll try and do this. Oh, look at his little head there. On the side, oh my gosh, he is so soft. He's very light. Smells wonderful. You know what he smells like? Um, there's a, I love the smell of leather jackets. Like that fresh leather jacket that you've had for a while and it just still smells like leather even after like 20 years. Still has that strong leather smell. That's what he smells like. It smells like that perfect high quality leather jacket. Oh my god, I love that smell. Love it. I'll try and show him up here for a little bit. Is he not just the cutest thing? Oh, he's so pretty. He's so pretty. So pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have to hold him now. <laughs> I have to hold him the rest of the night now. He has received so many hugs. I'm getting all the hugs now. I love it. Let's see what else? Oh, oh, there's something else. Oh, she gave me a fan. A Mama G fan. Oh my gosh, I actually use fans. I totally do because I am an old lady who's always hot. I will pull my fan out wherever I'm at and I will use my fan. Got a fan? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm a fan lover. A fan of fans. A fan of fans. While this is my first Inkari, it will not be my last because I recently shopped for some and I learned a few things. First, you must keep in mind that if you are shopping for the limited edition ones, such as this one is the limited edition ones, and adding them to your cart, there is a timer. It is only somewhat reserved in your cart for the short time that you are shopping. You have to make your decisions very quickly. When I discovered this, I had eight minutes to decide which ones I was actually going to purchase and to hit the button to purchase them. Right now, at this time I'm recording this, which is June 1st, 2023, they do have limited editions for sale. And there is no telling if they will be gone before this is uploaded or if there will be a few left. They do have non-limited editions for purchase as well, which are made from the stock of more plentiful colorways. Please check Inkari out if you are interested. I will put a link in the description box. I did miss the really huge four feet tall ones that were available. They cost over $300. Mr. Pajamas is probably really happy that I missed them. Um, a few of the ones that I thought were really adorable were gone, but I did manage to score a few that I did like a lot as well. Um, I will be putting one in a giveaway at some point, um, so make sure you are subscribed so you have a chance to adopt one through a future giveaway. Probably not the ones that I just recently got, but they do come up every two to three months. So if you're interested in collecting them, you might want to receive the newsletter so that you know whenever the collection is coming up, a limited edition collection is coming up. I also want to issue a huge thank you to Dory of Dory Does It. I love everything I received. I will treasure the alpaca and yarn and my bougie bag. Thank you so much for generously donating such a rare and special thing and requiring Mama G to match it with a special treat of her own. 
because that is amazing too. I can't believe I have some of hand dyed Mama G's yarn. It really is an extra special moment for me. Thank you for stopping by and I hope the rest of your day is beautiful. Bye yarny friends. Look at his floofy butt. Look at the floofy butt. Hey, look at it go. <laughs> look at the floofy butt. <laughs> Maybe he got floof. <laughs> my floofy butt. He's my floofy. Oh my god. <laughs> Along with a few other items. My teeth is sticking together. <laughs> <laughs>